Alright, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to give you a few tips on your bench press and how you can feel more activation in your chest muscles during the bench press. So, to start off, we're going to talk a little bit about foot placement to start off and where to put your feet when you're pressing. Now, there are so many different opinions on where to, where to put your feet and what's the most optimal. And in my opinion, it really doesn't matter where you put your feet. I mean, I've messed around with a lot of stuff, putting my feet up on the bench, keeping the heels on the floor, bringing my feet back. I mean, you really have to do whatever, whatever works for you. Wherever you feel the most activation in your chest is obviously what you want to go with. I mean, if you have to put your feet up on the bench, then do so. After that, the next thing I want to talk about is posture. Most people, when they bench press, um, they load the weight up on the bar and they really are not mindful about that muscle to mind to muscle connection okay between their chest and their brain so what they'll do is they'll blindly go through the exercise kind of like this and they really aren't thinking about the chest contracting and stretching um, really all they're thinking about is pressing up the weight now a, a person who is successful in building their chest a person who has been bench pressing for years and they have learned the proper weight and technique to do it they know that you have to constantly be thinking about your chest. You have to stretch at the bottom and fully contract throughout the entire movement. A big difference from just doing this. Now, you can see my chest is contracting and it's stretching a little bit with this, but nowhere near as much as, as this right here. It's a completely different exercise when you do that. Alright, another tip that I have for you guys is the fact that most people when they're bench pressing um, kind of it kind of goes hand in hand with the fact that they go blindly about doing it but when they have the bar they don't really think about their elbow placement whatsoever they take the bar and their arms are basically parallel with the barbell when they're pressing and once again you can see my chest isn't working I can even flex it a little bit at the top but one thing you guys can try to do is instead of having your elbows way up here bringing them in slightly, Any, I mean you can try a lot of different things with your elbows in terms of activating your chest, but bringing in your elbows to right here, bringing them in down to here, it's a completely different exercise than doing this. This type of movement brings so much of your front delts into the movement, your shoulders, and it really takes away from what your chest could be doing, so bring in your elbows, stretching and contracting. It's going to make a big difference on the exercise. So I'll put that in action real quick. So we lay back. Lift up on the bar and bring it down. And press. Stretch. Contract. Thinking about the chest. Stretch. Contract. All the way down up. Alright, and before I forget, another thing that most people will do is they like to do quarter reps or half reps. So, instead of bringing the bar all the way down to their chest and actually touching their chest, they will bring, they'll stop like around here and they'll press around this area right here instead of coming all the way down and fully stretching the muscle and getting the full range of motion. Now, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do, what's right or wrong. But obviously hitting that full range of motion, you're going to get more blood in the muscle. Always brought the bar all the way down to my chest. Not to the point where you're bouncing, but to the point where you're touching your chest as a point of reference and pressing at the top. So hopefully those tips help you guys out a little bit. I mean, let me know in the comments section below if that helped any of you guys out. If you guys want to see more videos like this where I give you guys some tips, show you how I do my exercises and stuff like that, let me know in the comments section. But until then, I love you guys.